Hello, hi everyone. Now, circles four marks questions. Fourth question onwards. So one to three questions we learn in the previous part. So before that fourth question, write down a small note that is not is not a the length of intersect made by the circle S is equal to zero on x axis is two into root of g square minus c. Okay, I will explain. Second one on y axis is two into root of x square minus c. What do you mean by intersect made by the circle on x axis by the circle on y axis? See, we know this is uh, x axis. This is y axis. Am I right? So, what do you mean by intersect and what is mean by length of intersect? Suppose if circle intersect the x axis. Okay. If if we pass into two points of on x axis, that means intersect. Okay. Sub circle is intersect the x axis. Then the path from here to here called the length of the intersect made by circle S is equal to zero. So what is this length on x axis? Is that two into root of g square minus c? So this length is two into root of g square minus c. Okay, by the diagram I have shown here very clearly. Similarly, can you guess what is the length on y-axis? Is means if on x-axis if it is two into root of g square minus c, then on y-axis it will be two into root of f square minus c. Just so. So what is the diagram? So it is on y-axis. Yes. So it intersects on y-axis. Means yes. This part. Is the length of intersect made by the graphs. So that is two into root of x square minus c. Are you clear? If you know these formulas, these definitions, very simply we can solve in this part four marks questions. Okay, one four marks question from this chapter for your board exam. Many of you asking, sir, please tell me each and every problem. So no need to intermediate each and every problem. Just what I am saying, these problems are very very much enough. Don't bother about that. You just uh, you have again you have doubt. Please verify the previous question papers. You can understand. Okay? Yes. No need to do that. But if you are clever after completing my classes, even another what are what I am lacking those problems also you can solve. You try it. Okay. So complete these two definitions. Next up, length of the chord. Length of the chord means chord. You know. For a circle, the center. So this is called chord. The positive two points of the circle. Okay. So between the line segment between any two points on the circle is chord. So what is the length of this chord? So to know that the length of the chord, uh, first clear information is what is this from center to on the circle, the distance that is. Radius, very good. So this I am taking from center to perpendicular distance of the board, taking as D. So this is center. This is some point P, or it is a straight line equation. Maybe will be given. Almost all the straight line equation will be given like the x plus b y plus c equal to zero. Is it okay? So this length only we need for this length. Who can we get? So that we are discussing here. So obviously this is called radius from center to perpendicular distance called d. What is the perpendicular distance formula? Yes, modulus a x one plus b y one plus c by root of a square plus b square. Okay. Uh, what is radius for the given circle? Easily we can find the radius root of g square plus f square minus c. Okay. So after getting radius and uh, what is this perpendicular distance, we can find that this for half of chord that is by using Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square minus another side square become remaining third side. That is root of r square minus g square. Is it clear? 
factor. So automatically this will be also root of cos square minus square. Totally we are getting here one, here one, two distances, two halves. That is two into root of cos square minus square. So this is the formula used for to find the length of the car. So the questions based on these concepts are very most important for the most question. So this formula is very most useful. So please note down. Okay, we want the perpendicular distance formula. Yes, that is equal to modulus ax1 plus by one plus c by root of a square plus b square. So this is the formula. Is it clear? Shall we enter into the problem? Yes. So before going to the problem, if you are newly watching, please subscribe and please click the like button and give the good comment. Yes? Okay, thank you for following our classes. Already you did? Okay, thank you. Fourth one. Find the equation of circle which touches x axis at a distance of 3 from origin and making intersect of length 6 on y axis. Do you understand the question first of all? Find the circle, equation of circle. Okay, we should find the equation of circle. To find the circle equation, we need g value, f value, c value. Seven mass questions we need. What is the information is given? That touches x axis at a distance of 3 from origin. So, origin means what? Origin means. So, this is x axis, this y axis, this is called what? That's very good. Intersecting point of x axis and y axis is called origin. So, to find the circle equation, first of all, that the circle touches the x axis, touches the x axis. Distance of 3. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, like that. Okay, I got the data. So, from here to here, distance is 3 units. So, in the question dimension, it touches the x axis at distance 3 units. And second point, making the intercept of length 6 on the axis. What is the length of the 6. So, this is taken as uh, the length of y intercept is 2 into root of x square minus. Right? 2 into x square minus. So, this will be 6. And what about this distance 3? Means, what is this point? If you learn one question, this remaining fifth question, six to seven, same as you you can solve it easily. Okay? Now, so on x axis, obviously the points are 0, 0, 1, comma 0, 2, comma 0, 3, comma 0, and then 4, comma 0, minus 1, comma 0, x, y, z. Means what? From the near limit, distance is 3. So the point will be 3, comma 0. That is the information. So that means circle passing through 3 comma 0, 1 key point regarding another one, it means you want to find y intercept is 2 into root of square minus it becomes 6, this one point will be And one more thing, here what is the x intercept? On x x, it doesn't intercept, just the touches. See the difference. If it is touches means it not intercept. If intercept means it not touches. Okay? So, if circle passing through like this means intercept. If circle passing through touching the point is called touches. Here, here some distance is there, but here no distance. That means what? The distance is zero. Which distance? This intercept on x axis. This intercept on x axis is nothing here. Here something is there. Nothing means zero. So here the intercept 2 into root e square minus c will be 0. So, how many key points we got in? 1, 2, 3. By using these 3 points, we can continue this problem, we can solve the problem. So, that is mathematics. So, maths means, oh, most probably, first we should know some knowledge on key points. After that, we should understand the question and then, what given in the question that we are following. That's it. Question saying, what we have to do? Question saying that the circle touches x axis means that so given that uh, let uh, s is equal to I'm taking 
such equation double substitution. Already we know that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2my plus c equal to 0. So this is the circle equation. Is it clear? I think four. Okay. Yes, this is the circle equation. Uh, one point. So equation one I am taking. One passing through which point? Three comma zero. So diagram must. If we draw the diagram, then easily we can solve the problem. So point is equal to three comma zero means what? It satisfies three square plus y means this is x, this is y. Zero square plus two g into three plus two we have to into zero plus c equal to zero. So three square means nine. Zero square means zero. Two into three six g. Two into zero will be of zero plus c equal to zero. So here we are getting six g plus c plus nine equal to zero. Equation number two. Okay. Next, step. the distance here intercept on x-axis is zero. Intercept on y-axis is six. So based on this distance of three on x-axis, two statements are taken. One is passing through three comma zero. Second is going to without this statement. So given that s is equal to zero, please touches. The circle, sorry, touches the x-axis. That means what? The length of length on x-intercept is zero. That means length on x-axis is zero. That means what is the length on x-axis? Two into g square minus c is zero. I'm going to square it on both sides. Did you write these points? Okay. Okay, take a screenshot, write us. Next continuation. So just we are solving on two sending that is it. So that implies just simply root of this square minus c equal zero. Squaring on both sides, so we are getting this square minus c equal zero. Okay. So this square same right side. So minus c equal minus this square plus minus that is c equal to this square. So we got the relation between C and G. Okay, anyway, next to take the another statement that is uh, making intercept on length of six on y axis. So given that uh, length of intercept on y axis is six, so that is two into root of the square minus c is six. Can we can we complete this? So sorry. Before that, by using c square, c equal g square, I substitute in equation two. We can get c value and g value. Then after I use this condition. Okay. So now also we can continue. But better to do substitute this c equal g square in equation two now only. So substitute c equal g square in equation two. So what is equation two? Six g plus c. G plus C, C means what? G square plus nine equal to zero. Okay, G means G, C means G square from that point and plus nine as G. So now it is a quadratic equation. G square plus G plus nine. Yes, how can we solve this quadratic equation? Yes, factorization nine three into three sum three plus three. Otherwise, it is in the form of C. G square plus two into G into three plus three square, so it is G plus three whole square. G plus three whole square means G plus three equal to means G equal minus three. Thus, we got it one G value. Next, we need to find the final C. Of course, if we substitute G value in here, we can get C value. Substitute G equal to minus three in C equal to G square. Otherwise, it is taken as our equation in equation three. So then C equal to minus G square. Then C equal to nine. Yes, we got its C value also. Okay. Yeah. Only F value is we have to find. So for that, another statement is there that is making intercept of making intercept of length six on the axis. So given that length 
half intercept and y axis is 6. Okay, are you clear? Okay. So, obviously, n term of x intercept uh, is 2 into root f square minus c equal to 6. So, here 2 into f square, what is c value? 9. And uh, both sides, 2 1 the 2 3 the. So, is equal to 3. To remove this square root, I am squaring on both sides. So, next to this, f square minus 9 becomes 3 square means 9. So f square equal minus 9 central set, 9 plus 9. So f square equal 18. So f equal to what? Plus r minus root 18. Plus r minus root 18 means what? Root 18 means uh, 9 to jump. Root 18 means 2 into 9. 9 means root 9 means 3. Root 2 means root 2. So 3 root 2. Yes. Finally we got g value after this c value. So therefore now, now substitute b value that is minus 3, f value plus r minus 3 root 2, c value 9 in equation 1. So equation 1 will be x square plus y square plus 2 gx. So instead of 2g minus 3 plus 2f means plus r minus 3 root 2 y plus c means 9 equal to g. So, this is x square plus y square minus 2 into minus 3 minus 6x plus r minus 2 theta 6 root 2 y plus 9 equal 0. So, this is the final answer. Is it clear? Friends, if any way you have any doubt, please watch the rabbit. Go back and watch. If you understand this one question, next to it will automatically get Of course, I will tell you next question also if you have any confusion, don't bother about that. Okay? So, if you want to take a screenshot and draw down. Okay, fifth question. It's a very small question. Find the equation of circuit which, which is passing through origin, making intercepts 4 and 3 on x and y axis. 4 and 3. So, very simple question. Uh, circuit equation. Let circle equation 1 x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal 0. First of all, it is passing through origin. So, okay. So, equation 1 passing through origin. Origin means what? 0, 0, very good. So, origin means this is the origin. So, passing to RG and uh, making intercepts 4 and 3 on x axis and y axis. Okay. This is the circle. So, passing to RG 0, 0. So, making intercepts 4 and 3 on x and y means 4 and 3 on x and y. Means what? 2 into root g square minus is equal to 4. 2 into root x square minus c is equal to 3. Okay? And one more condition is passing to 0, 0. So, by applying these three conditions, we can get the GFC values. Substitute in equation 1, we can get the circuit equation that's it. So, first of all, it is passing to 0, 0. Means the uh, equation 1 becomes x square means what? 0 square. Very right? good. Y square means what? 0 square. Root g into x means 0. 2f into y means 0. Plus c equal 0. See, each and every term, term is 0, 0, 0. So, this is all zeros. So, means what? C equal to 0. Okay. <coughs> One of the value we got. Next up. And given that, length of, length of x intercept, simply x intercept is, what is the x intercept? On x axis it is 4. So 4. That means 2 into root g square minus c equal to 4. So here 2 1 ja, 2 2 ja. Next term, root g square minus c value what? 0 is equal to 2. So root g square equal to 2. 
root d square equal to two. Okay. So square square root cancel. We are getting two. Am I right? Okay. Otherwise, uh, root d square minus d equal to two. Squaring on both side. Squaring on both side. So you will get the uh, g square minus c equal to square root four. So now substitute g square c value is zero. That is zero. So therefore g square equal to four. Therefore g equal to s r minus four. That means g equal to s r minus two. Okay. You may get doubt, sir. Why can't we do in the like what you have done in the previous step? So by substituting values and square square root, why can't we cancel? Means here in the circuit, in the circuit G value may be negative or positive. So to get both ways, we are moving in this way. That's it. So other than this, there is no reason. Okay? I'm just so uh, following method like in the previous problem. So just squaring on both sides and after that I substitute value and verify. So here also first squaring and remove the square root and substitute. Similarly, what next condition? So length of y intercept. Can you solve this? Is three. So that is two into root x square minus c equal to three. So not cancel. Squaring on both sides. So four into x square minus c equal to nine. So x square minus c equal to nine by four. What is c value? Zero. So x square minus zero equal to nine by four. Therefore, x square is equal to nine by four. So therefore, f is plus or minus root nine by four. So therefore, f is plus or minus root nine minus three, root four minus two. So f is plus or minus three by two. Substitute these values in equation one. We can get the circuit equation. So therefore, substitute g f c values in equation one. So we get x square plus y square plus two g x. Plus two r y plus c equal to zero. What is g value? Plus or minus two. What is f value? Plus or minus three by two. So we have two to cancel. Next to find the f is x square plus y square plus or minus four x plus or minus three by. Now what is c value? Zero. So this is equal to zero. So this is the answer. Okay, simple. Yes. Shall we go to next part? The sixth one. This is important, very important. Find the length of cord intersected by the circuit x squared plus y squared minus eight x minus two y minus eight equal zero on the line x plus y plus one equal zero. So next to seventh question also same type of question. I will give you work of practice that is very most important. So listen this, listen this carefully and uh, do next one. So here we have to find the length of the cord. Immediately length of the cord means. We should uh, remember the diagram and remember the formula. That is, yes, this is length of the cord. That is two into root of r square minus b square. Very really good. So first given circuit equation is x square plus y square minus a x minus two y minus a t equal zero. So we have to find what is center, what is radius. Am I right? If you know the radius and perpendicular distances. Then only you can find the length of cord that is root r square minus b square. So what is our radius? What is radius? Root of g square plus x square minus. What is GFC? From here, comparing the general equation, x square plus y square plus 2g x plus 2f equal to c equal zero. We can get g value f value c value. Comparing these two, 2g equal minus y. 2f equal minus 2. C equal minus y. So F is minus one, G is minus four. So then, center minus G comma minus F will be four comma one because of G is minus four, then minus G becomes plus four. So this is the center, four comma one, four comma one. So what is radius? Radius means root of G square plus X square minus. So G square means minus four whole square plus X square means minus one whole square minus. C means minus eight. 
So which is equal to the minus one whole square is uh, 16 plus minus one whole square is 1 minus 2 minus plus a totally 16 plus 1 17 plus a 25. So r equal to root 25. Obviously we need r square. So I am doing square r square becomes 25. Next what? I formula is root of r 2 into uh, sorry 2 into root of r square minus or we got it. D we have to find. What is D? D means perpendicular distance from which point? Center to line. So the line is given x plus y plus 1 equal to. So distance from center 4 comma 1 to line. What is the line? x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. Okay? So generally the point means x comma y, x1 by 1. So line means compared with a x plus b by plus c equal to 0. What is a? x option 1. What is b? y option 1. What is c? 1. Color ones. Okay. What is the formula? Modulus a x1 plus b y1 plus c by root a square plus b square. Why modulus is there? Because of it is a distance, distance always positive. So if we get the answer in negative, then also we have to take the positive. So therefore, which is equal to means what? 1 into x1. x1 means 4. Next to plus substituting this formula, b means what? 1. y1 means 1 plus c means 1. By root of a square plus b square means 1 square plus 1 square. So, which is equal 1 into 4, 4 plus 1 plus 1 by 1 square, 1 square, 1. Yeah, 1 square, 1, 1 square, 1, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, root 2. So, this is positive, so that we can write 6 by 2. So, this is it. We need d square. So, square in our motion, d square equal 36 by root 2 square is 2, that is 8. So, we got it d square also 8. So, therefore, length of curve. Then the part is 2 into root r square minus b square. So this is called 2 into root r square is 25 minus b square is 8. So this is called 2 into 25 minus 8 how much? 7. So 2 into root 7 units. So this is the answer. Okay. Can I give one more question? Same type of question. Find the length of the curve intersected by the circle minus x plus 3y uh, constant minus 20 degree equal to 0. Seventh question. So this is also important. Same way we have to solve. I will give the answers also. Solve in this way. On the line y equal to x minus 3. Okay, no problem. Uh, in the, using this line, you can use uh, y sign writer. So, x minus y minus 3 equal to 0. Okay, so first compare with general equation, we get our sign g is minus 1 by 2, f is 3 by 2, c is minus 1 by 2. So, center becomes 1 by 2 comma minus 3 by 2. Okay, I am giving the answers. Just do in the same way and check with me. So, and your uh, R will be root of this square root by 4 plus 9 by 4 plus 22. So, 10 by 4, 5 by 2, 5 by 2 plus 22 means 44, 49 by 2. So, 49 by 2. Then, R square will be 49 by 2. So, this will be R square. And D is C, so center becomes here 1 by 2 comma minus 3 by 2. So line is x minus y minus 3 equal to 0. So A equal to 1, B equal to minus 1, C will be minus 3. Same formula and substitute. So which is equal a into x1, 1 into 1 by 2, 1 by 2, b into y1, minus 1 into minus 3 by 3, plus 3 by 2, plus c means minus 3, mod s, by a square, 1 square, plus minus 1 square. 
So by root two is that the denominator. One by two plus three by two means four by two. Two minus two is minus one. Modulus minus one is plus one. So this is d. So d square will be one by two. So the length of quadrant, length of quadrant will be one two into r square minus d square. So two into r square value is two forty nine by two. D square is minus one by two. So we are getting forty eight by two means two twenty four. Two twenty four means what? Eight two four six zero. So two root six units. Okay. So that is the answer. I think so. I explained almost all total problem. But we can solve it. Yeah. Yes. Shall we go to the next problem? One more question in this part. Okay. Okay, in this part, last question and some more questions are there. No problem. In the next part, I'm sure we will continue. So, eighth one. Find the equation of circle with the center minus two comma three. Cutting a chord of length of two units on three x plus four y plus four equal to zero. So here we have to find the equation of circle. Center is given. So if we find the radius, then we will get it. Okay. So Cutting a chord of length of two units. First of all, letter S yes, is what x square plus y square plus two g x plus two y plus c equal to zero. Equation one. And to uh, give it that center minus minus two comma minus c is given minus two comma plus three. That means what minus g equal to minus two minus g equal to minus two. That means what. G equal to two minus f is given three. That means our f is given minus three. We got it. G value and f value. Very simple. Yes. Next, that circle cutting a chord of length two units on three x plus four y plus two. Means what? Circle cutting a chord of line on three x plus four y plus four equal to. So this is center obviously, the obvious this perpendicular distance, and this is radius. We don't know that radius. Yes, and uh, center is given minus two comma three. So be very careful while writing center and G R. Both are only sign different. Okay, plus means minus, minus means plus. So this is D. So what is given? Cutting a chord of length two. Chord of length means This one, the chord of length is two. Means what? Two into root r square minus d square is given two. So using this condition, we can come to r value. What is d? D means perpendicular. Do we have d value? We don't have. So first, I um, would like to find d value. So d means what? So this is the perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance from center to Minus two comma three. Two line. What is the line here? Three x plus four y plus four equal to. So obviously this is x comma x one by one point. So comparing with a x plus b y plus c equal to zero. What is a? A is three. B is four. C is also four. So I'm getting the next step. D is equal. So D equal. Perpendicular distance formula modulus a x one plus b y one plus c. Okay, by a square plus b square. So which is equal? What is a? Three. Three into x one. Three into minus minus six plus b into y one. Four into three. Twelve plus c plus c means four. By root a square. B square means three square means nine plus root B square means four square means sixteen. So modulus four plus twelve sixteen minus six ten by root nine plus sixteen how much root twenty five. We want to root B square so B square is squaring on both sides ten square means hundred by root twenty five square means twenty five. Twenty five by twenty five is four. So B square is four. Okay. Now use the condition. 
given that one more condition the length of cord is given two units so length of cord is given to actually length of cord formula is 2 into r square minus b square so that is equal to 2 2 1 ja 2 1 ja squaring on both side we get r square minus b square equal to 1 only 1 square becomes 1 only so r square is r square b square value 4 so this 4 same right side therefore r square equal to 1 minus 4 same right becomes plus 4 so r square equal to 5 so I am giving this as to Sir, can we write r equal plus or minus root 5? No, very good. So, because of r means radius, it is a positive. So, r square I am keeping as it is, is equal to 5. So, next one, if you know the radius and the center, h, k. So, can we write the circle equation? Yes, what is the circle equation? Can I remove this? Okay, next step I am going to write here. So here first. So here GF are not using, so no need to write yes. Okay, therefore center we know that is minus two comma p. So radius R square is five. This I am taking h comma. What is circle equation? Center h comma p radius. Are. Yes, x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to R square. So therefore equation of circle is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal r square. So x minus h means what? Minus 2 plus y minus k means 3. r square means 5. So n is minus plus x plus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equal to 5. So a plus the whole square, a square plus 2 a b, 2 into x into 2. 4x plus 2 square 4. A square minus 2ab plus b square minus 1. And yeah, 5. So x square plus y square plus 4x minus 6y. 4 plus 9. 13. 5 bring left side becomes minus 5. 13 minus 5 is 8 equal to 0. So this is the required circle equation. Got it? Yes. So friends, these are the yes. 4 to 8 questions means 5 4 mass questions completed in this part. So be patient, watch the classes regularly. So get the good marks. Most of mostly mostly uh, completely reduce the syllabus for you for your convenience. So easily we can get the score. Easy means easy only. And also we should add the hard work. Then we can get good marks. Now finally after completion of this before uh, exam time, I will make uh, another video how to get fast marks, how to get full marks, how to get good marks, how to get 75 out of 75, which way we have to practice with these problems only. Okay, I will don't tell you. So another problems also needed. I just tell you what I am saying, these problems, solutions are in the so thank you for watching our class regularly. Please click the like button and do the comment. Thank you.